Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. What I like about it more than anything else is when the little kids come up to you and say thanks or the fact that you know you're helping people out. It sounds, you know, extremely corny and stuff like that and the excitement is, is always there and, and that's fun but when a little kid comes up and says thanks for coming out here and walking on my street because I can play when you do that, I mean, that really hits home. And every little kid out here has the right to grow up and, and the right to play. To have a violent domestic fight, the uh, 911 advises that the kids called in, neighbors called in, and everybody's screaming right now. It sounds extremely violent. Building A, apartment two, right here. I've been out to this uh, address before, several domestics. Hi. Hi. Is there people fighting out here? Yes. Where? They're in that car right there. Stop it now! Stop it! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands. Driver, let me see your hands. Do it now. Let me stay in the car. Oh, Passenger, let me see your hands. We're fine. Hey, We're man. having a domestic... Let me see your hands. Oh, here, guy. None of us have any weapons. Or You're anything. trying to strangle him. Turn around. Oh, I didn't. Turn around. Uh, 317 Adam Petey. Have my 80... Let me see your hands. Play with him. Have my 82 step on it. Let me see your hands. Just keep your hands there. I'm in the parking lot. Uh, once you come in the middle, they're in a car. I was playing with them. Yeah, that's why he's crying. Just hold on right now. He's crying. He's crying. He covers. She had something around his neck and was choking him. My arms. It was not your arms. Come over here. Back away from the car. Put your hands on top of your head. Turn around. On top of your head. Cover, stay on him. Spread your feet. Oh, man. Go ahead and step him out. Let's talk to him. Slip out of the car. Keep your hands where we can see them. Don't do anything silly. I ain't Step over here. We have a slide. We have an argument. She was choking him with this sock when I came up from behind. Why was she choking you? You guys are arguing. I come up and she has a sock around your neck and she's pulling it from behind. This is an argument, too. Was this normal? Yeah. And she, she, she tried to choke you before? She was only choking you, know? We just play like that way, you know? You play that way? Yeah. You weren't afraid of, that she was choking you with the sock? No, no, no. I can always get away with everything. Yeah, well, so this is normal to you? Yeah. Okay. Why are all the neighbors calling in, the kids calling in, saying there's a violent fight going on? What were you guys arguing about? It should be so loud, I see, you know. Just because I'm uh, deaf to one ear, so I start yelling, you know. Mm. All right, what are you arguing about? Huh? What are you guys arguing about? Anything, you know. <laughs> Anything. You're just arguing. Yeah. Is this some kind of kinky game for you guys? We love each other. You know? I mean, I don't we care if it fight, is, but know? we just always fight. We don't try to do nobody no harm or nothing. You know. You love each other, but you always fight. Yeah. Okay. Is that your pot that was in yeah, your pocket? Yeah. What was that? Yeah. It was my yeah. pot. No, I don't have any drugs. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. You let him carry your drugs. Yeah. But you don't carry your drugs. No. Did you scratch yourself or did he scratch you? I must have done it myself. I don't even know what you're talking about, really. He asked me the same thing. I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, it's over. So why did you have a sock around his neck? I 
I was holding him. I had a sock in my hand. I was holding him. Ma'am, you're holding both ends of the sock, all right? Well, I'm not standing here calling you a liar, but I you saw are, what I saw. I'm telling you, I was holding him like this, and I had the sock okay. in my hand. I'm not going to stand here and I argue with you. I was walking around. The sock was half me off my foot. I took the sock off, and I hugged him. I you're right. And, and I didn't bullshit. see what I saw either, all right? Why are you guys arguing? We just had a little fight about something. A little fight that all the neighbors and the kids call in about. The kids? Yeah, kids called in. Children? You yeah. been drinking today? I had a couple of beers, yeah. Turn around, please. You're under arrest for domestic violence for what I saw, all right? At this point in time, he's not pressing charges against you, all right? I've been empowered by the state of New Mexico, all right, to stop this from happening, all right? This is a violent situation. I didn't it's not, touch listen him. to me, all right? It's not a healthy relationship. You're not going to jail to be punished. You're going to jail, oh, so just be, listen to me right now. Three, listen. Two, listen to me. You're going to jail so I you can be put into you. the justice system and hopefully right. get some counseling or something. So right now you're under arrest for possession of marijuana and domestic violence, all right, for fighting. Now, I do, for what? listen, I do believe you're the victim, but I have statements from other parties, all right, that this is an ongoing fight, all right? I have physical evidence that it's an ongoing fight, all right? She's not pressing charges against you. I am. I represent the state of New Mexico. Do you understand that? You're both going to jail, so this can be separated. You can get into counseling, or you can continue your counseling, where the problem can be solved. How much you had to drink today? Couple. That's it? Couple? How come that's everybody's answer, man? Well, I can't help you, though. I got 13 GBIs, you know, so... So, two, you know. the answer's standard, a couple? Yeah. And that's in line with the harmonic waves of the universe. I had a couple, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Just another domestic out here. We come out to these places all the time. I've been out with this family before, fighting with their neighbors and fighting with themselves. And like she said, she's in counseling right now. So, you know, it's really effective. And here they are fighting in front of their kids again. She's trying to choke him with a sock. 10 roger. I enjoy coming out here, just making contact with the, the people. Uh, I know I can't make a difference in every call I come out on but I at least try to put my input into it and maybe give somebody some advice, something that they haven't thought about before. Maybe it'll make a little difference in their life, make it easier or something. But uh, most of all, I, I just enjoy coming out and getting to talk to everybody. We're going to assist a, another officer on a... Uh, it came out as an assault, but it's probably going to be a domestic disturbance. Uh, she went to her next-door neighbor's house. Apparently, she's got two black eyes and bruises everywhere where the her... Either her husband or her boyfriend drug her out of the, of the house there, and then he left in an unknown direction. But she seems to think that she knows exactly where he is, so we're going to go out there and find out her story, then hopefully we'll be able to go pick this guy up. Our copy signal 22 southbound. Here it is. How's it going? Morning. Okay. So he's going back over there. Who did? The girl he got assaulted? Come on, man. Let's talk. Me. All right. Well, where's she at? I want to make sure she doesn't need any medical. She don't want me to call y'all. Well, we'll go over there and talk to her anyway. We'll let her her tell us now. She got two black eyes. Uh-huh. These are her babies right here. Let me ask you, where did he go? He's over there. He's at the house with her? Where's that? What address is it? It's right. I don't know the address, but it's right here with his brown date. And he's over there still? Right there. Where where is it? Where's their apartment? At? This one right here? No. That second one right, right there. there. Yeah. Okay. He's here in this house. He's, he's over here in this house. But we hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? I can't get her to tell us anything yet. What's her name? It was two days ago, though. Yeah, I do this. Why did I do it? Because I'm trying to get your ass beat by him, man. Look at you, man. Don't beat up. I can't do it. It hurts. 
Hey, he's over here in this house. Keep an eye, make sure he doesn't bolt out of that. I'm okay. Leaving. Next time, man, my dog is doing this, man. This yeah. is not business. You had no business. I had no business, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you come over here? Why don't you come over here, okay? Come over here. All right, but you're not, you're, oh, sh sh you're not gonna help her out. Come here, hey, come here. You're not gonna help her out screaming it out here, okay? As long as we can keep her calm and get her tell. I've been through it. What's that's name? Uh, something, uh, tell us what? He's a big husky. No, he's not Hispanic. He's got brown hair. Uh, He's okay. probably hiding in the bathroom or something because that's how chicken he is. Okay. Well, they're going to go just make sure he didn't come out of the house. Um, so, what, so what happened? Did you see anything happen today? Not, yeah, he came knocking on my door, mm -hmm. and he told me he was going to snap my neck. He's going to snap your I, neck? Yeah, if I didn't let his wife come back over there, I said, man, you can snap my neck because I'm so going to go what did, what did she tell you happened today? Today? Mm-hmm. That uh, she told me that uh, he told her, he says, uh, I'm going to go to the hospital, but I know you're going to be over there with your damn drunk-ass friends and stuff. Come on, Linda, tell me the truth, man, please. Come here, baby girl. Come here, please. Come She's here. just trying to be your friend, okay? She's just looking out for you. She wants to make sure you're okay. Well, she just yeah, wants to make does. sure you're okay. Okay, hold on. What is my husband? I don't know. Yeah, my okay. husband did this to me too, Linda. Okay. Let us talk to him. Find out from you what's going on. I don't want him to go to the sheriff. Oh. Okay. Nobody said anything about. He's my provider. No one said anything about anybody going to jail right now. Okay. And that's what you worry about. Y'all stay He's over here. He's gonna get some help. Okay. He needs some anger control. Y'all hang out over here. Okay. Don't come over here. Y'all hang out over here. They're going to take him. They're going to put him in your car. Um, Bonnie's on her way out. She's going to take him. Oh, really? Did they yeah. There she is, right? Do you have anything else on you? He's going to jail tonight for uh, assault and bodily injury on a family member, namely his wife. Okay. Let me have your right hand. It wasn't. On your left hand? No. I guess Linda's got the keys, but I'm going to get all your stuff, but she's not going to be doing Okay, look, you're going to jail for assault, bodily injury, family violence, okay? okay. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. He's going to go to Tarrant County Jail. That's where he'll be at. Okay. Um, I'm sure this gentleman's already explained all, all the stuff to you about getting some help, counseling, because these things don't, don't usually end after the first time. And this is evidently not the first time it's happened to you. Okay. It's probably not going to be the last time as long as you're in that kind of situation and you don't get any help. Okay. So take some of those numbers and the addresses and, and talk to some of those people and get some help. Okay. shift meetings, I've been uh, assigned to go get the kolaches and the donuts. When I don't go get them, they ride me pretty hard. When I do go get them, they ride me because I'm too fat anyway. Okay, we're en route to a location over on Frankie about a man beating a female. What's going on? That's my old lady. Ma'am, come back over here. I need to talk to you. Come talk to me. I'm 
Come over. He's not going. I'm not going to let him hurt you. You going to put your hands on the car for me, please, sir? Yes, sir. Step back. Step back. You ain't throwing me nowhere else. You ain't throwing me down in no gravel. You ain't throwing you nowhere. Hey. Yo, You're busted. You're a punk, man. You 4360. Would you get 66 over here with me, please, ma'am? I said 4366. You can't be hitting on nobody right in front of us, okay? No. No, it's not going to work. I am traffic. You out here in the middle of this street fighting ain't going to work either. Both of y'all are going to go to jail. You done beat me. You done threw me down to the gravel. You done hit me face down to the gravel your last time. I got witnesses. They seen him hitting on her. I got a witness that I seen her hit him just now. I didn't stand out here running. Okay, sorry, come, on. come on. Come on. Sir, you don't come on. understand. Come on. Sir, please understand. I'm tired of beating on me and throwing my I do understand. <laughs> no, sir, you don't. No, listen to me. I do understand, but I'm, I'm not going to let you beat on him either. <laughs> Once we get here, it's under control. You go back over here and start beating on him. What do you think I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Let him? Let you? Sorry, he's threw me over furniture. He's throwing me down at the how long, ground. How long has this been going on? Just a while ago. He's just throwing no, me down I'm at the ground. This is the first time he's is this the first time he's ever done this to you? No, sir. It ain't. And why are you still with him? Tell me that. Because I thought we could make it. I, I thought we could make it. I loved him. I did. Uh, do you want to file I, charges on him now? You do not want to file charges. After no. all this, you don't want him to go to jail. No, Why did you call us? I didn't. I did. I'm not what do you me. want us I'm to do? Just, I am not a referee, okay? Yes, I understand. I don't come out don't here to hold to. him back so you can no, beat on him. I understand that, sir. And I you don't want to file no charges? No, you're not hurt nowhere. Everything's wonderful. I, my knees and my fingers are hurt a little bit, but I'm all right. I don't want nothing. To, no, sir. No, sir. Can you tell me why? I love Why you. don't love you want him. anything done? I love him. He pays my bills, sir. He pays your bills. <laughs> if you don't this want... This is the first time he's ever got this file up with me. Honestly, that is the first time he's ever got this file up with me. I heard a little bit, but I'm all right. Both y'all been drinking? Not major, no, sir. Both y'all been drinking? A little, yes. But nothing major. We're all right. Really, sir. I'll stay right here. All right. Don't move. I'll be right back. Yes, no. I don't understand all this. I, I really uh -huh. don't. I don't understand the fighting out here in the middle yes. of the street. Uh... I don't guess I ever will, but you know, it happens. We do not want to have to come out here anymore on y'all. I understand, sir. I understand. Are you hurt? No, I ain't hurt. I'm hurt, but... Where's she whop you at? Oh, she hit me. Oh, we've been, you know, we've been talking, you know, but now it's the first time far as far as hitting me right there, you know. Whop you in the oh, side she, of the head? Oh, she hits me every now and then, but far as, you know, it ain't, it ain't, I ain't going to... She didn't hit you pretty good right there? Oh, she hit me good, but I ain't gonna fight on top. It ain't nothing, you know. No. Okay. You know, it, well, I don't put this man, you know, but it's me, you know. I ain't, I ain't married. We've been together for nine months. Man. But, okay. What'd she say? She didn't want to fight on you. She loves you. Yeah. If you beat on me, I wouldn't love you too much. Yeah. Was it I you? would cross you out. Was it to you? What was the first time you ever been in love? What was it? <laughs> we don't want to talk about me. I know. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I know. Well, why don't you go in the house? Well, hold on a second. All right. Neither one of them want to file charges on either. I'd send them both in the other direction. If they ain't go that way, go to jail. Best thing you and her can do tonight is get away from each other. Yes. Let her go wherever she's going to go tonight. And, you know, when this thing calms down, 
we all can work things out. Yes. You know, love blinds them. They, they can't see past their love for each other. If that's love, I don't think I need no part of it. There's many people that I've arrested in the past that I know by the first, middle, last name. I think not only does it bring them closer to me to where they tell me things, someday it could save my life because some of these kids that I know out here are violent felons and they could be put into situations where under pressure and without thinking they might decide that that uh, their only alternative to being arrested is possibly harm a police officer. Sounds like we got a, um, an assault or battery in progress where we have a white male uh, possibly attacking a white female and myself and two other units responding and uh, pretty quick uh, time for arrival. And we're about to go 1097 now, arriving on scene. HQ Bravo 366 1097. Let's see what we got here. Why are you shoving her and pushing her like that? Because I'm trying to use the phone, man. Are these, those guys involved at all? No. Okay. Who is he to you, ma'am? He's my boyfriend. Y'all okay. don't do that. Come on here. Come here. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here and talk He's to me okay. for a second, honey. Honey, come on here and talk to me for a second. He's okay. Here, I got some. Then don't do it. Be quiet. You got anything on you we need to know about? No, sir. What's that? Cigarettes? Cigarettes and a lighter. Okay. Come over here and have a seat real quick. To figure. What y'all arguing about? Because this bitch been out cheating on me and I'm calling the family to find out if she was where she was supposed to be at. Open that with your right Okay, open that with your right hand. Open this? Yeah. Well, Am I going to jail? Oh, did I say you're going to jail? No. We hey, can ask her you're, you're being de detained until we figure out what's going on. Just relax. Okay, this is ridiculous. All right, man. try it again. What's going on? Okay. She left me today, okay? She left my house. She took all the stuff with her with a cousin, okay? She's telling me, don't let her call her family. Hey, hey, talk to me. She's telling me that she was with her family. I talked to her family the whole time she was gone and she wasn't there. I want to find out who she was, because if she was not with her family, I do not want her living in my house because she's lying to me, okay? I pay the bills at my house. I work every day. She don't work. She don't do nothing. I want to find out if she's lying. If she's lying, I don't want to be with her. If she's not lying, fine, she can come home. But she won't even let me get on the phone to find out if she's lying, because she's lying. Okay. Well, we just get a call that you're hitting on her. We pull up and we see you. Am I? You hey, can ask her yourself finish. if I'm hitting on her. All right, now listen to you, now listen to me. All right. We pull up and you're pushing her, and I saw you push her back a couple times. Pretty hard. Because I'm trying to use the phone and she's jumping in my face. Okay, well, there, there's no excuse for that. All right, you get, you, there's no there's excuse for putting your hands payphone. on her. Exactly. What I'm saying. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. No, I did not until you put your hands on me. Did I hit you? Okay, come on, no, turn, turn it on. Can we fix it? Live together? Yes, we do. Okay. How long have you been living together? We've been together nine months. We live together for about eight. You any kids or anything? No kids. You're not married? Nope. Where do y'all live at? In that trailer park right there. What did he do to you tonight to verify what we saw? He just cussing at me and just in my face and just grabbing me and just throwing me. Okay. So we, as we pulled up, it was, he, was he pushing you? Or what exactly was he doing as we rolled up? He was pushing me. Okay. And why did he do that? Because I was trying to get the phone. Okay, and you're going to try to call your family? Okay. Are you hurt? He wants to call my family, and my family hates his guts. My family cannot stand him, and my family told me today they were so mad at me because I wanted to come back over here tonight and to be with them because I love them. And they were so mad at me for wanting to do that. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, in all probability, he's going to be under arrest tonight for domestic violence. There's no, no. way to get around that. Okay. Don't do that. Please don't do that. We really. Baby, I love you. Back pocket. Stay right here with me, though. Okay, I'm going to give those to her real quick. Baby, I love no, you. that's my house. She lives with you. Baby, I love no, you. No, that's my house. Where are the keys? Baby, I, told I don't them want them you in my house. Thank you. I told them not you to do You put me in jail when I, I do not do this. I don't want you in my house. I told them not to do this. I don't this want you in my house. Do not Chris, come over here. Let's go over this way real quick. So you said you had your last say with them. Let's go over here now. I can't believe this girl, man. Can you put your hands on her? Man, I didn't hit her. I man. walked, I pulled up and saw you push her. Look, I pushed her away from the phone, man. I you didn't did it hit twice. Her. That's enough. I don't, I don't you don't have to house. hit her. I'll pay the rent. She lives there. Have a seat. Breath, all right? Sam, Sam, would you take her aside for a second? He, he, he doesn't have to hit you, okay? He, he shoved you. That was that's what we're dealing with right now. She can stay in my house, man. I don't want her on the street. She don't need to be on Main Street. I love the girl. She can be in my house. Can you tell her that? 
We'll tell her that. We have the keys now? Yeah, right, right here. I guess, man. They've taken my house keys, which I pay for. You are now under arrest for domestic violence, okay? You and battery. You're kidding me. Well, you gotta be kidding you me. You live with her as a couple. Go home. I'm going to jail for battery. Okay, because you wouldn't let me use the damn phone. I told him you didn't do anything to me. Because you didn't want to get caught, man. Yeah, well, what? Well, my fault that she wouldn't touch me either. Close the door. You should be lying to me. I I was at pulled up, he's talking on the phone, and I see him just do this number right here to get her off, and then she comes back at him, and he did it again. About that time as we're pulling up, he's looking like he's going to do it again, and he realizes we're here. She already says they reside together for the last year as a couple. Right. They don't have children, and they're not married, legally married, however, under Florida guidelines. Yeah. They meet the criteria just by residing together as a couple. So She's actually married to somebody else. Okay, so. okay. Well, that, that's another issue, obviously, entirely. Yeah, yeah, but that's, uh, that's probably what's starting this whole thing. But he's going to be placed under arrest for domestic violence. Assault call. Okay. Complainant called in, stated that he was assaulted. The suspect was outside. What's going on, sir? Well, my wife invited her I'm friend. To... What happened to you, man? My wife invited her friend over. Driving a Chevrolet, Chevrolet truck. You rescue? Yeah. All of a sudden, he just, blam, like that. We rolled around the floor a little bit. You get him up. He left. He come back. And all of a sudden, he just charged him. Blam, beat me some more. I tried to struggle with him some more. I don't know. I'm just so upset right now. I'll just you know, let him come and look at it. See if you're going to need stitches. They can tell you yes and, or no, all right? Um, come over here and sit down. Come over here and sit down on the curb. Can I get my cigarettes out of the car? You got a cigarette in your hand? Oh, I, no, this is one of his out She the, can there. get the cigarettes. Can you get him? Have a seat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think he broke my foot, too. And he stepped on it. He was fine. Not that highway. What's his name? Ed. And what's his relationship to you? He's a man. Ex lover. You're ex lover. I'm married to him now. Okay. I'm married to him now. No, 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 get off the phone, you're, get off the phone. Don't you're... worry about what, what she's doing, it, it's not going to make any difference yeah. to what It is to me. You talking to Ed, the guy yes. who just beat your husband up? Yes. Well, thanks a lot. What's he saying? Yeah. I don't want to talk to him. He got invited to my house and this happened he to me. He didn't get invited. You were invited to me. I did not invite him. Oh, I didn't him. invite him in. He turned around and he showed up at the door. We opened the door, he was there, okay? He's my ex-boyfriend. I understand. He's that. my ex-boss. I understand that. Okay, we just got married. Me and my husband just got married. Okay. And he turned around and he started talking to Mark, and then all of a sudden it was like, come outside. And then he turned around and started hitting Mark. So I got it right in the It outside. Him. He walked right at me in the house and just blam. He just jumped me. He wanted to walk outside. I'm sorry. It was out the door when he we started hitting We were in the house. Him. No, the second time was out the door because I worked right, his ass yeah, out the door. Again, yeah, that's what you remember because you have a selective memory. No, honey. You've been drinking all day. Sorry, I got off work at 6, 7 o'clock at night. Sorry. Honey, end it. End it. You've been drinking. You just ended it right now. Okay, no. Turn okay, sit down, sit down, man. Sit down. I want you to get your. I'll get your cigarette. She get just, your cigarettes. Give me. Oh, 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 hey, I love you, but I'm a hot. You don't soul. love me. You just said that. Come you here. just Come ended here. it right there. Honey. Right up here against the car. You uh, are totally uh, messed uh, up. Uh, You're totally uh, messed up, Mark. Please. I'm totally messed up. You make me look like an ass in front of everybody. Honey, no, I just got jumped to my house, and you make me like an ass. I'm not gonna get okay. cold cocked. Okay, let me explain something here. Yes. Okay. You yes. got a husband here, okay? You got a boyfriend. I know. Well, your husband, your boyfriend, and you have all been drinking, okay? Yes, Way sir. too much. Yes, sir. This whole situation is it's what caused up. this fight. Right. You need to make a decision. It's either the husband or the boyfriend or neither. Okay? It's going to be both. You can have two people then, at once. Then we're going to end up, somebody's going to end up going to jail. Do you it's understand that? Do you understand that? 
Yeah. Okay. But see, there's one thing. My husband loves me. Mm-hmm. And my boyfriend loves me. Okay? But my husband loves me more than my boyfriend. Well, I guess you'll pay the rent this month, huh? Excuse me, I'm just a little upset. Okay. Well, that's understandable. Okay. You're married. Your wife has obviously got a boyfriend. Is that something no, new that to you? No, not a boyfriend. Okay. Well, she said it was. Keep your voice out of my conversation. Okay. She obviously has other interests, okay, in addition to you. Okay. Everybody's been drinking. So, that's anyways, that's the majority of the problem. The, what is what the you're going to need to do, you're going to need to come to some type of decision about what's going well, on. Right, I'm getting ready to come to that decision. Okay, good. That's good. But anyways, what is the point of this conversation? So I can't even put my foot up. <laughs> what's going on out there? What everybody inside? All I don't want to know is where have all the half-packed cigarettes at. <laughs> we don't have. Come on. I'm 35. You're 35 and you're a drunk. Now, once again, another alcohol-related dispute. She's got the love triangle thing going. Hopefully, she'll make a decision real soon about which one she wants. Right now, we're going to a domestic. It's separated. The female half was assaulted by the male. The male's inside the house and supposedly barricaded himself. And he doesn't think we can come inside without a warrant. We're almost there, and our supervisor's on the way as well. I don't know. This might be the house right here. Yeah, that's the house in question. The male has barricaded himself inside the house after assaulting his wife. And he doesn't think we can come in without a warrant, which is the wrong answer. Waiting for a supervisor to show up, let him know what's going on, and then we'll get permission to go in. Probably kick the door in. One of you need to talk at a time. You need to understand that I actually have to have you out here talking with me and look at you in order to determine that. I cannot take your word for it by the laws of Washington State. We have an obligation to investigate this. I, we just can't go away, you know, and the bad guy's not on safe, okay? Huh? I'm physically, you see me right here. Okay. So I understand that, but we have independent witnesses who saw what happened. I can't, we can't allow that. Independent have overreacted. They didn't know what they saw. All we did was argue. Sir, I am just fine. You're not getting this. There's a man who's driving as fast as he can. He's going to the precinct. He's going to come with this big thing that knocks down doors, okay? Everybody's going to come rushing in, and there's a possibility somebody's going to get hurt. That's, that's not necessary. Open the door. We talk to everybody. If somebody has to be arrested, they go arrested. If you want to go bail him out, that's your prerogative. The point is, is that I don't negotiate with bad guys while I have nothing to... You have to give me your guarantee. Then no one is going to jail. To I, can't, I can't guarantee that. Then I cannot open the door. Okay, the door because is going to come open, okay? You understand that. They have overreacted. All we did was get an argument right by the car. That's okay, it. I don't know why they'd overreact. Why would they overreact? Because they're, I don't know. Okay, I'm not that's sure my why. Point. I've got they four overreacted people, wait. because they saw two people arguing. But, but, but on my, my point property. is, I have two or three or four, however many people there are, and they're telling us that there was a fight. Let, let, me, let me put it to you this way. If we all left, said, okay, we'll believe you, we all leave. And some, later on tonight, he busts you up so bad that you go to the hospital. Okay, now what? Because okay, this wait. The state of Washington will say, Officer Stonek, you messed up because you should have arrested that man. You should have forced entry and gone yeah, in there and got that, that bad guy. Okay, that's my point here. I can't leave. He's still barricaded. Well, do you know what? We got tape on the people. So what is today? It's Wednesday. There. Even if somebody did go to jail, you'd be out tomorrow. One more warning, you need to come to the door right now and open it and talk to us. You're not opening the door. Okay. Clear that back room. Keep clearing that room. See, it would have been a lot easier if you just opened the door. Is it clear back there? Take him a chair. Watch, watch, watch. Stand up. What you got in there? What you got? Are you, Stand up. Is he okay? Yeah. You have the right to make sign. Anything said to you is against your court law. You have the right to stop talking to Lord and have him present with you while you may question. 
If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, I want to be appointed right there for a question if you wish. You can sign anytime next judge writes and answer any question, making statements. Have these rights in mind, you want to talk to me now. Have these rights in mind, you want to talk to me now. Any yeah. what? You have reacted or overreacted or there's nothing wrong. Well, that's all, all we had to do was come inside and find that out, and then we would have probably left. Okay? There's actually nothing wrong. Well, did your boyfriend have warrants or something? No. Then why wouldn't you guys open the door? Because there's nothing to open the All door. we had to do was come inside, look at you, look at him, say, okay, nothing's wrong, see you guys later. Uh-huh. Didn't you hear the Sarge? We're obligated to go in and investigate this. We can't investigate it from the second floor. Sir, there's nothing wrong. What got it. Questions, whatever you need to ask me, go for it. Throw two cards over my head. Okay. We just got back from the lake. She's crying about her money that's at the pants that are at the lake. I said, I don't know where your pants are. She got upset. Words were exchanged. I can't remember quite. Now, she she punched you? Oh, yeah. Where she punched you at? She punched me in my face a few times. So I got Is that you guys? She does that often or was First time? No, she's punched me before, but never in the face. Now, witnesses said you kicked her. Is that true? Yeah, I probably that's what I said to the dude when I, he was coming up. Yeah. But, she, but more, I restrained her, and as I was putting her on the ground, she was on my foot, and I rolled her over. I don't know why she flew off like that. I shouldn't have kicked her, and I said that right as soon as I did it. But. Now, why wouldn't she open the door? I just thought I could skip the door. You thought we were going to go away? Yeah, I thought that's what you'd have to do eventually. Why is that? Because I remember reading about that. Where did you read that at? Three indictments are one. Okay. All right, yeah, man. DV, we're coming in. Yeah, okay, we, we have to we have to investigate. Thought, we don't have a choice. Even if I would have came out here and talked, I know that somebody has to go to jail on a DV. Not necessarily. If it's if there's a crime, if it's, you know, if somebody physically assaulted somebody, just skip that chapter. All right, I'm man. I'm a lawyer, but I'm trying to stay up. It's better to know than not know. All right, good luck to you, bud. Well, we made entry. They didn't believe that we would. Instead of one just going to jail, now they're both going to jail. I'm going to a stabbing that has occurred over in the uh, McCord Gate area or Springbrook. And it's a domestic situation where the wife has stabbed the husband. And 50's arriving. Victims in 24. Suspects up here? No, yes, suspects up here. Yeah. Okay. Another call you should not by chance. There's a bed. Okay. Or a blanket for You Mirandized her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is a knife on the counter? I don't know. There's just the one I was going to use. I don't know where I put it. Did he just hit you the one time? Yeah, but I didn't mean to. I just had it in my hand because I was getting ready to get this stuff out. Uh-huh. And then he slapped me. Okay. There you go. If you guys want to go down and talk, I have yeah, money to find now, Grandma. Right. Go tell him. Whose apartment are we in now? Mine. Oh, this is yours. Down okay. to the left. Yeah. And we got DD4 on him. So yeah. He went to number 24 after this happened. Is that the one we're talking about, the big one? Yeah. This is the one that you used. I had, yeah, I was getting ready to cut. I had the knee. Okay. It looks like it's been washed. I didn't. I didn't run the water. Okay. No. back up to the crime scene. The knife was uh, in the sink. It's a butcher knife about yay long. How deep is the wound? I have no idea. It's only about that long. Why don't you... Yeah, it's it superficial, looks... basically. Is it really? Yeah. It, it looks pretty bloody. What uh, yeah, do you want to do? He's, he's bleeding pretty good. Yeah. What's your solution on this? Here's what he's telling me. He just gets back from overseas in the military. Mm-hmm. Um, they come back. 
she's they get in an argument over his attitude supposedly he's given her a bad attitude or okay. something like that um she starts physically assaulting him she punches him in the face a couple times he's got a big old swollen lip down here with blood looks like he's got some blood coming up on his lip and he, he says he had a bloody nose after being hit like 15 times he says yeah i lost it i whacked her one time upside the head she runs over grabs a knife and stuck me with the knife so okay if, well, if she's, she's not given anything one, about the assault she was hard pressed to give that she had the knife can you kind of give me your story as to what happened as we're walking uh, to the ambulance here uh, she said I was acting tired just again, uh -huh. and then she, st she started getting up, and she started, she started hitting me in my face. She started hitting me in the face? Yeah. Open hand or with open hand. fist? Well, some of it was closed hand, some of it was open hand. It was, it was just buried. Okay. But I didn't really pay much to mind about it until it started getting on my nerves, and I started blocking some of it. Do you guys want them on the gurney? Yeah. Okay, go, go ahead and down. keep talking. Okay. Okay. And sit you down. Are you allergic to anything? Oh, no, no. But, but when I was blocking, I was trying to block some of the, hit, some of the blows, he was talking about that I was hitting her. Uh -huh. I, really, I really went, I was going to block her. Okay, okay. And then it finally got to the point I couldn't really take no more. And then like, she hit me once and then I hit her back. Okay. And then she got mad. She walked over to where the knife where I grabbed one and she stabbed me in my side. And she was like, move out the way. Which knife was so it? James, it's a big James, James. which knife was it? Oh, which oh, one oh. of these was the knife? Oh, that, that was my question right it there. Wasn't, I don't think it was either one of those two. Either one of these? I don't, one I, don't, of these I, don't, I don't think it was. It was one, it was one of them. It still be in the sink. That okay. was the big one. It was the one in the sink. Oh, okay. I guess it was that one. This is the Teach weapon me. that was used during the attack. Pretty good sized knife. He's ID'd it. She said this is the one she believes she used, so. Monty's got witnesses that heard her say, you want me to slap you again and again. So I'd leave him as the victim at this point and uh, let the prosecutor decide if they want to charge him with any kind of misdemeanor for that. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 